Ate, ate, pwede pa hawak muna nito. Ah, sige. Manin lang kasi ako. Okay. Hello, ate! Kumuha yung video! Kung gara na! <laughs> Papakita namin. So our scenario would be, 
what is the probability of drawing a number of wild cards if affected by a plus 4 card by using the discrete probability distribution. So first, we have to identify what we will use for our sample spaces, and in this case, it would be n is normal cards and w is wild cards. So in discrete probability distribution, we can use a graphic organizer to represent and arrange all the sample spaces of the possible outcomes of this probability. And this is the representation of the graphic organizer. But to easily understand this, we can also use this form to know how frequent the letter W appears in each set. So given that most of, this, most of each set contains at least one letter W, we can now input it in this form, which is P of X equals 0, P of X equals 1, P of X equals 2, P of X equals 3, and P of X equals 4, which basically means the probability of drawing 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 wild cards. So first is P of X equals 0. We have to count how many zeros appears in each set, or in other words, uh, how, many, how many sets do not contain the letter W. So in this case, it would be 1 over 16. 16 is the total of all the sets. And if we convert 1 over 16 into decimal form, it would be 0 0.0625 or 6.25%. P of x equals 1 is 4 over 16 equals 0 0.25 or 25%. P of x equals 2 is 6 over 16 equals 0 0.375 or 37.5%. P of x equals 3 is 4 over 16 equals 0 0.25 or 25%. P of x equals 4 is equals to 1 over 16 equals 0 0.625 or 6.25%. So how did we convert it into percent form? To convert a decimal form to into percent form, we, we can multiply it by 100. So 0 0.25 times 100 is 25%. So therefore, the probability of drawing one wild card is 25%, two wild cards is 37.5%, three wild cards is 25%, and four wild cards is 6.25%. Although there is a high chance that the player will get no wild cards at all, and drawing all normal cards is 100%. Why is that? It is because each set still contains the letter N, and we have to uh, know the fact that an UNO contains 100 normal cards, and there are only 8 wild cards in the game. So that is how you, can, you find the probability of drawing a number of wild cards if affected by a plus 4 card. <laughs> Ay, 
So for our second game, we're going to find the probability of matching 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 cups to its proper color when a player is given 5 moves per turn by using the same method from the discrete probability distribution. So just like the first game, we're going to count how many M's or match appears within each set of the distribution and we're going to input it in the form of P of X equals 0, P of X equals 1, P of X equals 2, P of X equals 3, P of X equals 4, and P of X equals 5. So first is P of X equals 0. Since there is only one 0 within all the 32 sets, it will be 1 over 32 equals 0 0.03125 or 3.125%. Second is P of X equals 1 equals 5 over 32 equals 0 0.15625 or 15.625%. P of X equals 3, 10 over 32 equals 0 0.3125 or 31.25%. P of X equals 3, 9 over 32 equals 0 0.28125 or 28.125%. P of X equals 4 equals 6 over 32 equals 0 0.1875 or 18.75%. And lastly, P of X equals 5 is 1 over over 32 equals 0.03125 or 3.125%. Therefore, the probability of matching one cup to its proper color is 15.625%, two cups is 31.25%, three cups is 28.125%, four cups is 18.75%, and five cups is 3.125%. Although there is also a chance that the player does not match any cups to its appropriate color and might even reshuffle the entire arrangement to the wrong sequences. <laughs> Let's 
So for our next game, we will find the probability of popping the balloon at each turn. P equals number of person playing, T equals number of turns per person. So just like the second game, we will input it into P of X equals 0, P of X equals 1, P of X equals 2, P of X equals 3, P of X equals 4, P of X equals 5. So since there is only one zero within all the 32 sets, it will, it will be P of X equals 0 equals 1 over 32 equals 0 0.03125 or 31.25% or 100%. P of X equals 1 equals 5 over 32 equals 0 0.15625 or 15.625%. P of X equals 2 equals 10 over 2 equals 0 0.3125 or 31.25 percent p of x equals 3 equals 10 over 32 equals 0 0.3125 or 31.25 percent p of x equals 4 equals 5 over 32 equals 0 0.15625 or 15.625 percent and for the last p of x equals 5 equals 1 over 32 equals 0 0.03125 or 31.25% Therefore, the likelihood of popping the balloon on the first turn is 15.625% On the second turn, 31.25% On the third turn, 31.25% On the fourth turn, 15.625% And lastly, on the fifth turn, 3.125% Although, there is a 100% chance you won't pop the balloon on each turn because the balloon will keep moving inside the box our video for today guys i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time bye, bye. bye.